I'm going to take you through what everyone can code is in just 2 minutes and 20 seconds. So, first of all, Everyone Can Code is an Apple book that you can download from the Apple Book Store. It comprises of two different parts. We've got the Everyone Can Code puzzles for the children and Everyone Can Code puzzles teacher guide for the teachers. If I open it up here, you'll see that there is so much information in the introduction. It takes you through literally everything you need to know about this particular scheme of work. Now, crucially, every activity in the scheme is divided into four sections. Learn, where you learn about the coding concepts. Try, where you put those concepts into some sort of context. Apply, where you take those skills and apply them to something else. And connect, where you connect to real life coding situations. We also have things like uh, the pacing guide, which is really useful and in this section of the introduction it takes you through exactly what you need to download to get everything started and for all of the lessons to work. Let's have a look at the first learning activity which revolves around commands. Now as you can see here there's a lot of content here for the students as well as content for just the teachers to see. Each section starts by explaining the concept to the children. So in this case, what are commands in programming? And then it will give the children a simple activity to take part in. In this particular activity, the children will hide something and then write out instructions to go and find that thing that they've hidden. Then they try out those skills uh, from a programming point of view. And in order to do this, we jump from the guide onto the Swift Playgrounds app. From there we can have a go at the activities and we can just simply skip back and forth between the student guide in the uh, Everyone Can Code Puzzles book and the app itself. As you can see the book goes into loads of detail for the children and then we come across the teacher part of the book. And in here, it really sort of pulls back the curtain and shows you exactly what you should be teaching and how you should be teaching these concepts. It's great because it means that the teachers don't necessarily have to plan anything for themselves and they know that they're going through some really relevant and uh, forward-thinking coding lessons.